Let's see the mileage. So about 368.8 kilometers. And then... Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm thinking about changing my drive sprocket here from 15 tooth drive sprocket to 16 tooth drive sprocket. It's exact same sprocket with Durago 250. And let's see how the fuel mileage is going to change. When I first got this bike, I had a 13 tooth sprocket here and 47 tooth sprocket on the rear. And then I went ahead and changed from 13 to 14 and the driven sprocket I changed from 47 to 45. The fuel mileage changed from 30 km per liter to 32 km per liter. And then I changed the drive sprocket here from 14 to 15. This time I only changed the drive sprocket, not the driven sprocket. Uh, at that time, the fuel mileage changed from 32 to around 33 km per liter. And then, I made the video about this, but I did the adjusting in the carburetor. It was flooding before, so I fixed it. And then the fuel mileage changed to 38 km per liter. And then now, I'm changing from 15 tooth drive sprocket to 16 tooth drive sprocket. Like I said, it's the exact same sprocket with Durago 250. And let's see how the fuel mileage is going to change. So let the chain be loose there and let just might as well clean this area. Alright, so it's not super clean but it's clean enough. So let's just go ahead and crack this open. The new sprocket here. The Yamaha Genuine Drive Sprocket. So let's just compare. So this is the old 15 tooth sprocket versus the new 16 tooth sprocket. Roughly about that much of a difference. Not so much, but it's probably gonna make a difference on like you know cruising speed RPM. Alright, so let's check the fitment. Oh great, it's perfect. Alright. So the tightening torque here is 10 newton meters to be exact. There you go. So it's all done. All I have to do now is put this cover back on, to tighten everything up around the rear wheel, adjust the chain slack, and ready for the test ride. And then I'll be checking on the fuel mileage. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's fill it up. So it's all full. So that's 368 kilometers, well, 368.8 kilometers. And then I got 9.17 liters. So uh, let's, uh, let's calculate. 368.8 divided by 9.17. So that's 40.2. So it's 40.2 kilometers per liter. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, let's check the summary again. 